Words have meaning. I mean, they have to, right? When you're watching a YouTube rip and a dude pulls a banger and says, let's go, you know exactly what he means. So we can safely assume Origins is the nexus of card collecting. It's the black monolith in a desolate desert. And I'm about to be the monkey strangely groping it. Okay, I'm on first and first. How can the same street intersect with itself? It must be at the nexus of the universe. I feel like that's a pretty good summation of what's about to happen. Let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Huxbox here. Today's video, we got a brand new product, and that is 2023 Origins H2. It's not hobby. It's not retail. It's a hobby hybrid. Genius. So these boxes came about a week after Hobby was released. They, I found them, luckily, for about $150 a box. They sell for a little bit more now. They were on Panini's website, sold out super quick. And there's a good reason for that, which we'll dive into in just a second. Before we get into it, I want you guys to know I have an April giveaway going on for the channel. I'm giving away a 2023 Prism Football Hobby blaster box to enter. Just be a subscriber. Like and comment on any April video. I will randomly pick one comment from each video and all the winners will be put in duck race to determine the giveaway winner. I got two boxes to review today. Let's get into the product details and go over what we can get out of these. So they, they look like blasters. They look like blasters. They feel like blasters, but they're not blasters. So we're going to look for, we're going to get, uh, it's a six by six format, 36 total cards. We're going to look for the ultra rare Big Bang and Snake Eyes inserts and on card rookie autographs. Um, let me take the wrapping off and you can see what we can get. These, if you were to go out and buy these now, they're about 195 bucks a box. So a little pricey, a little bit more than two is a little bit more than the price of one hobby box. So we're going to find six inserts and two parallels per box. There's also base variation short prints. It's got about a 10 or 12 player checklist. Parallels include Basketball, Cosmos, Maroon to 115, which last year, I believe 99 was the highest parallel. So they increased that, increased print runs. Got Pink to 60, Neon Green to 25. That's it for numbered parallels, just three. Um, other inserts include Catapults, Euphoria, Nucleus, Taking the Leap. These are H2 exclusive. As mentioned earlier, the super short print Big Bang and Snake Eyes are really what we're after here. And as mentioned before, we can find autographs in here, although not guaranteed. So let's get into it. We're hoping to pull, obviously, a Wemby. These are really fantastic looking cards. They're a collector's set, for sure. I'm going to try to be kind of careful opening these because, as you'll see... I shouldn't reveal the back. These are a thicker stock card, much more prone to damage, edging and corner damage. So there you have the 2023 design marking in. And the great thing about Origins is you're going to get plenty of rookies. Two is better than one. So there's Noah Clowney coming out of the nexus of the universe. There's Prosper on the rookie. I believe you get almost two rookies per pack. A John ja Morant. We got a pink here, De'Aaron Fox. That's out of 60, so that's one of our numbered parallels. And behind that, you're going to have an insert. Koulibaly Origins. So this is what I mean, thicker stock. Thicker. About a 55 point. It should just fit in a normal sleeve. We'll put that man on stage. Spruce her up. And then that is a really a gorgeous card. The insert sets in Origins are something to behold. So there you go. We'll sleeve up Koulibaly. I probably shouldn't do that much sleeving. This is going to be a slightly longer video. You know, we open a hobby. It's Bam Bam. See you later, ma'am. I'm trying to be careful with these. Maybe too careful, but 
it's a, I guess a better rip when you're opening an H2 box. It's a, a longer rip. You, you draw out your dollar, dollar per minute. So a Sir Thompson on the rookie, that hit pile. Cat, LeBron, that's a good one. Austin Reeves, Lakers. Give me another Laker. SGA, this is a box after my heart. There's a PC hit. A Nucleus, these are the the team. Let's get a good one. That is not a good one. That is a Nucleus. These, these do sell well. Of the Atlanta Hawks featuring Kobe Bufkin on the front. Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. That's an interesting combo. I don't know if that's the best Nucleus you could come up with. I'm trying to hide the, the back. There's a Derek Lively rookie. Not a bad one. It looks like we got our other pink parallel of an insert coming up. Kobe Brown. Jabari Smith. Andre Jackson. You see what I mean? Like, there's rookies galore. Steph Curry. We'll take it. A Catapults. Who could it be? Why don't I recognize you? Yank. Jet Howard. Now the, the pink here is numbered to 99. A Jet Howard Origins to 99. Not the players we want. Nothing terribly low numbered. So that's our two parallels. The best we can hope for now is an insert Something like that. Keontae Johnson. Maxwell Lewis. Rookies, rookies. Just not the right ones so far. Not a, I mean, it's not a bad box. DeJounte Murray. Not a $150 a box. This is the basketball parallel. So we got three parallels this box. Anthony Davis on the basketball parallels. And a catapults of Jordan Hawkins. Not bad. This is very thick. Try to remember if there's fillers in here. This pack seems thicker than normal. It doesn't look thicker. I'm a terrible judge of size. That's what she said. Or he said. Take that. Make that what you want. Kobe Bufkin. Dame. Another Jet Howard. And Origins of... Tariq Whitehead taking the leap. I don't know why. I, I have no rhyme or reason to why I'm sleeping. Okay, last pack, Blaster 1. Been pretty disappointing. Not a lot going on here. Taylor Hendricks. There we go. There's a Wemby. All right. Now, I will say, I believe... Origins doesn't sell. The singles market isn't the greatest. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know I, I looked up Wemby's singles. I want to say his base rookie was... Audio portion redacted due to blatant stupidity. Terribly awesome. There's an Ant-Man. Want to hear a funny story? I accidentally put a wrong bit in. For a mosaic silver rookie card of him that I won for audio portion redacted due to blatant stupidity. It's a twenty dollar card. Be careful on eBay. What we got here. This is ooh. What is this? This is fancy. What is that? What is that? Grady Dick. Oh, this is the variation. So you'll see on the there variation. So we got a Grady Dick variation. Finish strong with the Wemby and the Grady Dick variation. I don't know what that goes for, but let's just put that up there. All right, box number two. A little crowded back here. Let's see if box number two can do a little bit better. I guess the question is, I wanted to pose, what would you rather rip? Like if, if you could find these for 150 which... You know, 
I was lucky enough to do. So two of these is about, let's say, the price of a hobby box. Would you rather have two H2 boxes or one hobby box? In the hobby, you're gonna get one auto, and then one additional hit. It can be an auto or a relic. It's gonna be a relic most of the time. Two parallels and one insert, whereas here you're gonna get your six inserts and two parallels and way more rookies. GG Jackson, that's a good one. Nice another PC hit, Tyrese Maxi. Personally, with the, uh, we got a Prosper to 115, and not how I wanted to spend my parallel, and a Nucleus, that's not a bad one, of the Timberwolves. Timberwolves are probably the hottest team right now. <laughs> Just leave that Nucleus up. Anthony Edwards cards are going to the moon. But back to the Hobby H2 question. We all know that the rookie checklist for autographs is incredibly weak. There's no Wemby. There's no Brandon Miller. There's no Scoot. There's no uh, ha Haquez. Keontae George. Anthony Davis. Embiid. There we go. Brandon Miller. And catapults of Donovan Mitchell. I love the inserts and origins. Love them. So yeah, I personally think I'd rather have an H2 box. Now you can't hit, you can't hit one of ones in H2 where you can't in hobby. Um, there are two lower numbered parallels. There's a to ten and a one of ones. But here you're going to get more parallels per dollar, more inserts per dollar. Ryan Rupert, Kawhi. Pod on the rookie. There we go. Taking the leap. Brandon Miller. In both the hobby and the hybrid, you can get a, you know, you still have shots at uh, case hits. They both have two quote unquote case hits. Let me know what you think. Personally, I think I'd rather have H2s. Mello, Strother, Ben Shepard on the rookie. There's our basketball parallel. Be good. Trey Young. Yuck. And a euphoria of another Grady Dick. Grady Dick. Yet again, euphoria. He did hit the one base, Wemby. Got two packs left. Tons of wonderful looking cards. James Najee on the rookie. Still need one more parallel out of this box. Scotty Barnes. Nick Smith Jr. Colby Jones. Another Trey Young. And this is going to be another taking the leap. Jerese Walker. Oh, that's out of 25. Where's the neon green... That's not neon green. That's uh, the inserts are clearly a, a different uh, parallel, but that's out of 25, seven of 25, two off Jersey number, Dries Walker. We'll just put that in there because we got no more room. We got no more room. English. All right, last pack. Got our two. Right, we got our two numbered cards. Did we? I can't count. Math hard. Jamal Murray. Not the rookie we're looking for. Vuksevich. Anthony Black. And another nucleus of the Jazz. All right, I'll be right back with my recap and final thoughts. All right, we got the table cleaned up. Let's take a look at what we got. Um, a couple of our better rookies, uh, Asur and Brandon Miller. We got our 
Inserts, we got three Nucleus, T-Wolves, Jazz, our rookie inserts, Euphoria, uh, Hawkins on the Catapults, Derek Whitehead on the Taking the Leap, and a Grady Dick uh, Euphoria, oh, and a Taking the Leap, Brandon Miller. Our parallels, we got two basketball parallels, so one per box, Anthony Davis and Trey Young. Uh, our numbered cards, uh, Deer and Fox to 60, Jet Howard to 99, a Therese Walker taking the leap to 25, and a Prosper to 115. And our two best pulls, I would say, are going to be a variation Grady Dick, which I don't know how rare these are, to be honest. We didn't get them in both boxes, so they must be somewhat rare. And we did get the Victor base card. Um, how did we do? I, we didn't do fantastic, but I enjoyed the rip. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Is the H2 a good value at 195 bucks? Probably not. At 150, yes. So I'd be more inclined to hit that $150 price point if you want to rip this. Fun factor, I, I, again, I think it's a super fun set to rip. If you like the design of the cards, which I do, they feel premium, they look premium. And as far as collectability goes, these aren't the most collectible cards in the world. So overall, I'm going to give these H2 boxes a three out of five aces i had fun i enjoyed it let me know what you guys think about h2 in the comments below i do want to thank you for spending even just a minute of your time with me today and until next time peace out